This group knows the struggles of being homeless, and they're setting their sights on a new goal that few achieve. 7 X News reporter Ronnie Dahl brings you their inspiring story to compete in a half marathon from Pontiac. For the next three months, the streets of Pontiac will be their training ground. And for these runners, each mile they complete is another step closer to a better tomorrow. Together, we're going to do it. Before the early morning run, a pep talk. Then it's time for shoes to hit the pavement. Let's get a quick little warm up. Jeff Gibbs leads the way, a coach and mentor to the men and women that signed on for a challenge that is sure to change their lives. A half a marathon, I was like, oh my God, that's far. That's very far, but I'm going to try. It's an odd thing for homeless people to be uh, um, training for a, a marathon, but uh, the way I look at it, you know, uh, we're, we're people, you know, like every other person. Yeah, pick it up a little bit. There you go. It was in the rhythm of running, Jeff was able to find peace. His parents were homeless. After I was taken away from my parents and put in foster care, uh, my mom and dad became homeless, and my father died actually just down the road underneath the tree. The runners are being sponsored, and they hope to raise additional money for area shelters. First graders pitched in almost $500 to help pay for the running clothes. Hanson's Running Shop donated new shoes. They have until June to train for the First Steps 5K and Half Marathon. But this race is about so much more than the finish line. It's bigger than running. They give you a chance to restart your life and to build it better. Just breathe in. It's hope from God. 13.1 miles of hope. In Pontiac, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.